Hi guys! So as you can tell today we're gonna do a makeup transformation and no, I am not naked. I actually have a robe thing on because we're gonna do a full on body painting today inspired by this very weird, creepy, yet beautiful doll I found on Instagram. I found this doll online and is made by this artist who makes these creepy, but in the most amazing way ever, dolls with these huge faces. And this one is very galaxy-like and it has these beautiful colors. And once I saw this, I was just drawn to it. And I'm like, I have to paint this on my face. Like it inspired me so much. So today we're gonna see how this turns out. So first of all, I'm going to put my hair in a wig cap because we are definitely going to put on a wig later. Put some bobby pins on there so that the wig stays secure on our head. And I even put some hairspray on because girl, I got some baby hairs that are very out of this world. And then I'm going to get an Elmer's glue stick and start blocking off my eyebrows so that we could paint on them later. And then let that get tacky and then do a layer of powder. And depending on how thick your eyebrows are, you may want to do like three or four layers of this. And in between the layers of my eyebrows drying, I'm going to get a white eyeliner pencil and draw on the nose, the eyes, and where I want the mouth to be. And then finish off those eyebrows. Once my eyebrows are blocked, I'm going to get a turquoise cream paint. This is from my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. If you do not have this flash palette, you can use a turquoise lipstick or Ben Nye cream is a lot cheaper than the Makeup Forever one. Doing that around the eye shapes that we drew on and on my nose. You want this in crevices where it would crease the makeup, like your eyelids. And we're going to do that over our blocked eyebrows as well. And powder that down with translucent powder. Because the next type of paint that we are going to get is an aqua paint that matches this color of cream. We did the cream color first to match this color because the aqua paint will break down our blocked eyebrows that we did and it will crease a lot more than the cream paint will in like the eye area. I left parts of my chin not painted because this alien like doll thing has a totally different face shape than me. Make sure to paint this all across your face and in your ears. And I'm even going to paint on my neck a lot thinner than my natural neck is because we're going to block off the rest of our shoulders later because this alien has a lot thinner neck and smaller body with a bigger proportioned head than I do. You can paint all your shoulders if you want to. You do not have to paint your body to look smaller like I'm doing here. Then I'm going to get some cream yellow paint and paint on in those circles where our eyes were traced on before. These eyeballs are going to be under our natural eye, more on our cheekbone, and they're going to be a lot wider apart than our natural eye is. I think this is one of the things I loved about this doll when I first saw it. And you want to make sure you powder down each makeup step you do, so I'm powdering the yellow eyes as well. Then I'm getting some silver paint with a simple sponge and painting between my natural eyebrows and on my ears. You really want to look at the reference picture. Honestly, you can do any creepy doll you want, but I chose this one. And then I made this Kelly green color using green and yellow cream paint, mixing it together to use it on a stipple sponge to make that galaxy-like forehead that this doll has. I love how it has an airbrush effect, but this is more texturized. And you want to do this in areas that it shows on the picture. And then I'm getting the salmon color from my cream paint palette and doing it on my nose and areas on my cheek where the doll has this like rusty rose gold pink tones that we're gonna layer more colors on with later. On my lips and my chin and on the bottom of my earlobes and in between those bursts of the Kelly green paint on top of those, on our forehead, on our neck and chest. I love how this is starting to look like a coral reef underwater with these beautiful colors. And then I am going to powder that down with some translucent powder, getting some more silver paint in the middle of that forehead area with my fingertips and patting it on there just to make it more brighter. Doing some blue streaks in between that to give it more detail. Then I got this blue lipstick and did some texture over those bursts of paint on our forehead that we did. Powdering that down with translucent powder and doing white over the blue paint on our forehead and detailed spots on other parts of the face and that nose. Now I'm just getting this golden color eyeshadow in the color Glamorous from Makeup Geek and putting that over those salmon cream tones that we did on our face. Those areas on our nose, around our cheeks and our chin and the details all over your neck and chest that we painted on. Now I'm getting some matte blue eyeshadow with a blending brush and doing some darker blue shades around the eye area. I love how this is turning into like a underwater goddess looking thing, but a, like a weird alien underwater creature. And on top of the bridge of our nose, some parts near the corner of our mouths and the nose, and on our cupid's bow. 
Now, getting a navy blue eyeliner and doing details of the nose and doing that eyeliner also with textures on our lips. I'm just getting that cream salmon color and extending the size of our nose and doing more eyeliner details across our face. Now getting more of that turquoise cream paint and doing it around the details of those circles that we did on our forehead. With some white cream paint, I am doing dots and details across our face, the forehead, the chin, the cheeks, and the nose. Getting some bright orange eyeshadow and start doing the detail of those eyes on our cheekbones. Getting the black cream paint and doing the pupils of those eyes. Then I got some blue cream paint and started doing details around the eyes, giving it like that hooded eye look. It's gonna be in like the corner of our eyes, but above the eyes we drew on and around our mouth as well. And our chin, because the chin on this creature is a lot smaller than mine. Then with the blue cream paint, I am also doing details of like different shapes on my chest that look like barnacles. This totally reminds me of like the underwater scenes in Finding Nemo or something. Getting the turquoise paint and doing dots around our face with detail and painting the cupid's bow on our face turquoise as well. Doing more dots of detail with the salmon color across our face. Getting some matte black eyeshadow and doing the details around this doll's eyes. This doll creature thing has very distinct eyes that are wide apart and remind me of a fish. There's a lot of wrinkles and creases around the eyes while they're spread far apart that make them stand out even more. If this doll's eyes is starting to look like it's kind of drunk, that means you're doing it well because this doll is very odd and interesting but beautiful. Now with the white cream paint, I'm just doing more dots and details around my face and eyes and areas like that. It kind of looks like snow was just falling on your beautiful face. I'm just doing some details across my forehead around those bursts of colors that we did before. With the matte black eyeshadow, I'm just doing more details on my chest and those barnacle type shapes and everything. With some blue aqua paint, I am doing shapes on my chest. It's very hard to see and it is a little bit out of frame, but they're there. They look like waves of the ocean. Now I got more of that golden eyeshadow color and put that over those salmon colors on my cheeks and a little bit on my chest as well. Got some more black eyeshadow and deepened the details around the eyes. Got some golden cream paint and stippled that across my face in areas that we did that peachy salmon color and across my chest as well. Did the details on there with some matte blue eyeshadow too. You really want it to look oceanic with deep tones of dark blue with gold mixed in. Now once you think you have enough detail and texture on this doll's face and neck and chest, you're going to get some black aqua paint with a paintbrush and paint in the bare areas of your shoulders to make this doll's head look humongous and its shoulders and body and neck that we painted on very small and petite and little. This will give the head a very bulbous looking doll-like look that we want. You do not have to paint your body and your shoulders with this black paint if you don't want to. I just did it to blend in with the black background a lot better to make it look more animated and more like the doll. Now, once you think your makeup looks just like the doll's face, you could get a wig. I got this beautiful wig off of Amazon. It is literally the most gorgeous wig I have ever had in my life. I definitely need to use this for another makeup video. The colors, you should see it in person. I just braided the wig and it comes with these bangs which I try to push back. And then I got this very weird looking helmet thing that I made completely myself out of tin foil and acrylic paints to look just like the weird space age looking helmet this doll had in the picture. And once you have your helmet and your wig on, you are completely done with this makeup transformation. I absolutely love how this turned out. It kind of reminds me of something that was inspired by Vincent Van Gogh, especially when I originally saw the picture of this doll. I think I did pretty well to the original of the doll, except I wish I could extend my earlobes. I tried to make effects earlobe prosthetics, but it wasn't turning out how I wanted it. But I still think this looks beautiful. I love all the variations of colors, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Now to take this off, it took so much time because of so much body painting, a lot of baby wipes, and a definite shower after this. Leave me a comment on what other makeup look I should do with this beautiful wig. I hope this inspires you guys to create something that you like to do and have fun and just be inspired by anything and everything. And if you have a passion in something, just keep doing it. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. If you guys would like to try any of the makeup transformations I have done on my channel, please tag me on Instagram, hashtag catsketch so I can find them and shout you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this really weird alien doll looking thing. I know I did. And I love you all. See you soon. Bye.